All right, so you're probably gonna get sick of me with these videos, but um, this one is just gonna be a quick one. This is a stretch, just a series of stretches that you can do every day. You can do them um, in the morning, you can do them after workouts, you can do them at night before bed, um, but just really to help increase range, range of motion, um, to keep things limber, um, and to kind of as a cool down after workouts and things and I started out very 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 inflexible I couldn't I couldn't even touch my toes and now I'm able to at least bend over touch my toes keep my legs straight things like that and this is also going to help um, with some of the core work that we do so whenever you know we're trying to keep legs straight up in the air to work core a lot of times the legs cannot straighten because the hamstrings are so tight so this is just going to be a series of things that you can do standing um, seated and on the floor. So we're just gonna start, I like to start with legs fairly wide and you're gonna bend from your waist. So it's not, you're not rounding your back and coming over, that's a different stretch. We're gonna do that one too, but to work on um, hips and glutes and hamstrings right in here, uh, feet wide, bend from your waist, push it back like we do when we do our um, deadlifts and try and keep things straight and just down as low as you can go and hold that back straight. We're not gonna round it yet. So just hold it here as low as you can get. And then you bet you uh, go reach for one side and hold it. So each stretch you can hold 15, 20 seconds um, to really get the full benefit. So back to the center and then other side and hold. And you should feel it right back in here, those hamstrings. And then back to the center. And now we will uh, hold our head down around that back. And just kind of let it hang there. You can also cradle your arms and just hold it. And this is stretching our backs out. And then roll up nice and slow. And then we're gonna put one foot in front, one behind, runner's lunge, and you keep your heel, you can't really see my foot, but keep your heel on the floor. So that's the um, point of this one. We don't, want, we don't need to be up here with our foot off the floor. Try and keep that heel down. So you may need to shorten your stance up to do that, but come in here. And then once you keep that foot flat, push your hips forward. So you're trying to push them forward and we're trying to stretch our back hip leg, hip flexor and just hold it there. And then if you want more of a stretch, you can take this arm over and reach across and you'll feel it all the way down. Hold it for a few seconds. And then we're gonna do our bend again like we did with our feet out, but now in uh, triangle pose basically. So from your waist, keep that back straight, keep the legs straight. If you need to do a slight bend in the front knee, you can and then as low as you can go. And if you can put your hands down, put your hands down, look up at your belly button. If you can't have your hands down and look up, then come up here and look up. And then after you hold that one, walk your hands back up your leg. And we're gonna stretch the other leg now, this leg. So. Uh, weight on the back foot, front toes up, and then push those hips back. So these are all um, a lot of uh, hamstring stretching because uh, hamstrings seem to be the tightest muscle group, muscles on, on people. All right, so those three on the other side. So other foot forward, we're gonna do the runner's lunge first. If you can get even further down and keep that heel on the floor, that's great. If not, get to where you can keep the heel on the floor and then Roll your hips and push them forward. And then if you want more, reach over. Hold it here. So a series of stretches, you know, in about five minutes or so. It doesn't have to take a super long time. All right, keep those legs straight, bend from your waist. Down. You can touch the floor, touch the floor, and then look up. So both feet should be facing forward for this one. A few seconds. Slowly walk your hands back up. 
Now lean on the back foot, front toes up, and then push those hips back. And so we're gonna do, let's see, there's a couple you can do standing. To, we're gonna do our quad stretch. So just grabbing that foot. And for the quad stretch, we're not holding it out here. That doesn't really stretch it very well. So keep those knees together and push your hips. So we're not holding it here. Push your hips forward. And then you'll feel it even more in your quad here. If you can't grab your foot and do it, Try and grab ankle if you can. And hold. And then do the other side, same thing. Grab, put those knees together, and then push those hips forward. And then you're also, if you want to work your balance, come out here. Also, if you roll your shoulders back while you do this, it actually will feel a really good stretch in your quads. And hold. Here. All right, and then figure four, you can do figure four standing. You could do it seated in a chair. You could do it seated on the floor. You can do it laying down. I'll show you each variation. So a couple things, you can keep it down here if you don't have the flexibility in your knee and then it's like you're sitting down in a chair. If you've got flexibility in your knee, try and bring your foot as close into your hip as you can and you really feel right in here. So pick wherever comfortable, but figure four, and then it's like you're sitting down. So sit back, hold it for a few seconds. And then I'll show on the floor for the other one because we're gonna do a couple stretches on the floor. And then at the end, we'll do a set of seated stretches. So things that you could do, you know, at work or, you know, seated anywhere, really. Um, so if you're, if you're doing this one, sitting on the floor you can so just put it over just the same way and then try and scoot your hips as close to this heel as possible and then lean forward and you should really feel that one if you're doing it laying down you can come here there's a couple of options if you're not super flexible yet you can take this hand push it away and you'll feel that stretch right here if you can reach through Bring it in and hold it. If you've got the flexibility or you want to increase it, try and bring that foot closer in and reach for your calf. And if you really want a good stretch, reach for those toes and hold. And you'll feel it all the way, like the back of your knee, your hamstring. Hold it here. All right. So another good stretch I like to get our sides is our wind, windshield wiper, so arms out, feet can either be down on the floor, or I'll show it at a 90, and hold them to one side, and then look over your opposite shoulder, and hold it for a few seconds, and then come back, other side, hold. If you want, or you can, bring them up at a 90 and do the same thing. And you really gotta squeeze that core tight. So this is core work also to get those legs back up and over to the other side. All right. And then you're gonna hug your knees and then rock side to side. Now one leg out and then the other one tucked in and try and bring it towards your armpit You'll feel a good stretch on the inside of your thigh. And hold it here a few seconds. And then switch and hold. And if you want to turn this one into a core move, just keep doing it back and forth. Trying to keep those shoulders off the floor if you want. All right, now this one I did not make up, I swear but you grab the insides of your feet, the happy baby, and you hold it up and try and stretch. You may need to just do one at a time and try and straighten it or get it as close to straight as possible. And then hold. All right, we're gonna do a couple of seated ones on the floor. 
So we're gonna have one leg out, one leg in. First thing, bend over your, your bent leg. These toes are gonna be up. So the straight leg, the toes are up. And bend over this leg here. And it's, it's not a rounded. Squeeze those shoulders tight and bend from your waist. Even if it's just here, that's fine. Hold it there. If you can get lower, get lower. And you're stretching the inside of your thigh right here. Hold. And then reach across with your opposite arm and try and grab. If you cannot grab your leg, try and grab your calf or wherever you can on your leg. And it's the same thing. Let back is straight. We're not rounding to reach our toes. We're straight. Reach wherever you can. And then take this leg, bring it over, keep it here, or you can straighten this leg and hold. So these are, I mean, like I said, these ones you can do while you're watching TV, taking a break after a workout, um, first thing in the morning, or you could do it right before you go to bed, um, several different times. But this, these are a series of stretches that have helped me kind of gain some flexibility I didn't have before. So kind of share, sharing them with y'all. And they're ones that I use a lot with classes. And then just hold it here. There's a ton of different stretches too. So there's, I mean, there's more, a lot more than what I'm showing in this video, but these are a, a set to get you started. And then later on I can do uh, another set of stretches for even more. There. All right, and then we're gonna take a lot of inside thigh work and a lot of glute work or hamstring work. Our butterfly, so typically, I mean, people are here. The goal is to get those legs flat, those knees flat on the floor, and those feet, if you can tuck them in, tuck them in, and same thing, pull those shoulders back so that your chest is out, bend from your waist, down as low as you, you can go. You're trying to put your chest to the floor. We're not here. I mean, that's a good one. You can do that to kind of stretch your upper back, but then to stretch the hips, keep that back flat and go as low as you can. And hold. And then bring those legs out just a little bit, keeping them here, kind of like more like a frog, I guess. And then come back and do it again. Stretch. All right, and then a few we're gonna do on all fours. So one that I really like, and this is a really good one for stretching the lower back and the upper back, um, is our cat-cow. So hips are right over knees, shoulders right over wrist. Drop your head, arch your back to the ceiling. So really push that back up as hard as you can. Hold it there, take a deep breath, and let it out as you Push your abs to the floor and look up. And then do that a few times. Just roll up, stretch, deep breath, and let it out. So do that three or four times. And then on your last one, bring it all the way forward. Drop your hips to the floor and look up to the ceiling. Stretch and hip flexors. Feel it in your lower back too. So come up on your toes, push into downward facing dog. If you can get your heels on the floor, on your heels to the floor. Now slowly walk your hands to your feet and then you're gonna hold it there. This one you can round your back and just drop your head. If you can tuck your hands under your feet and pull, Good. If not, you just hold it here and then roll up to the top. And then our last one going to be feet together, knees together. Reach up and take a deep breath and then let it out to the side. You're trying to keep your feet and knees together, your hips out, your arms next to your ears and you're reaching as far as you can. And then come back up, other side. And then up and we take a deep breath 
and we let it out. All right, a couple of seated stretches real quick. So if you, we'll do it on a bench here. Can we, ooh, can we see it on the bench here? Yeah. All right, so if you need, and if you can't get onto the floor for some of these stretches, you can do a chair, like you can just use a regular chair. This is a little high, but we'll see. That'll work, I guess. All right, so you can do your figure four seated in a chair. Same thing we were doing before. And just leaning forward and you hold. I'm gonna go a little quicker through this one, but just so you have an idea how to do these in a chair. Right here. And then a good uh, hamstring stretch and then a chair, like we did standing. One leg is gonna be straight, toes are gonna to be pointed up to the ceiling. Bend from your waist down and hold it, even if it's just right here, because I don't want you to roll, you know, reach and round because that doesn't stretch your hamstrings. So you gotta push shoulders back and chest down and hold. And then come up and do the other one and lean. Hold it for a few seconds. Toes are up to the ceiling. All right, come in. And so to do a cat-cow seated, just take your hands, push them out and round your back and drop your head. And it's the same thing like we do on all fours. And then to do the other one, bring your arms behind you and grab your wrist and then pull your shoulders back and push your chest out and hold it there. And you can do that a few times. Out. And back. And then to do our sides, to get our sides like we do our windshield wipers when we bring our legs side to side. This one's a little difficult on, on the bench. But you, if you're in a chair, you're going to turn to one side, drop this front leg, and then you're going to hold onto your chair and try and twist behind you. And you're going to hold it. And then you're gonna do the same thing facing the other direction. If you have a, the back of a chair, you twist and you hold the back. All right, and then to get our, uh, our backs, we're just gonna drape everything to the floor and hold it here, head is down. And then slowly roll up. Roll your shoulders a few times. And then another one to do, um, our necks. So like it's not a time to get tense. Doing our workouts and things. So we're gonna do our nose, our yeses, and then ears to shoulders. So just back and forth. Doesn't have to be fast. Two or three times each side. Come back to the center, up and down. Two or three times. And then back to neutral and bring your ear towards your elbow, I mean your elbow, your shoulder, back to the center, back and forth. And then last one, you're going to try and do the finger touch test. You go one up, one back behind you, and you're trying to touch fingertips. If you can, great. If not, you just kind of hold it there as close as you can get them. Hold for a few seconds. And then you're going to switch sides. All right, so we're going to do the other side. And hold. One side is going to be easier to do than the other side, typically. All right. And then we stand up and we do our full sunrise thing, like we did coming out of the... So just up, reach, big, tall stretch. One side, up, deep breath, other side, and then up and down. And so that's just a quick set of uh, stretches for you to add to anything. And like, you don't have to do all of them. You can do just the standing, you can do just the laying down, you can do just the seated, but there's a few options for you. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you for the next video.